Good evening and thank you for joining us on this pretty afternoon. At the top of our news, they are rebels with a cause. Six students kicked out of Southwest High School in Fort Worth for wearing the Confederate flag have now been joined by hundreds of others fighting to restore their school's old symbol. And Texas News 5's chief correspondent Mike Snyder reports tonight. The students claim the controversy over the Confederate flag has nothing to do with the school board's concern over racism. It shows school spirit that we are rebels and why be called rebels if we can't show a rebel flag. Four years ago, this Confederate rebel flag was forbidden for use at Southwest High School by the Fort Worth Independent School District after the NAACP complained the flag was racist. There's one of the guys who got kicked out right there. Chris. Chris Hughes was one of six students kicked out of Southwest High yesterday for wearing the rebel flag on a t-shirt. They say that old rebel flag is racist. Well, you know, I think it's a symbol of our school spirit, and I don't see why anybody thinks it's racist. And neither do many African-American students like Manny Elijah, who think it's okay to wear the rebel flag. If they want to, yeah. It's freedom of choice. In 1986, the Richland High School rebels defied the NAACP and challenged use of the Confederate flag all the way to the Texas Education Association. The Richland rebels won the right to continue using the flag. I'd be kicked out for, for wearing this too. Even though Richland High is in the Birdville School District, students at Southwest can't understand why living just 12 miles away makes their Confederate flag any more racist than the non-racist flag at Richland. I don't care to talk to you. Principal Quince Fulton wouldn't talk with us on camera, but said by telephone not to kill the messenger. Says he's only carrying out policy dictated by the Fort Worth School Board. His students take the hint. We're going to take it to the school board and see what they yeah. have to say about it. This is a controversy that is not likely to end with a football game between Trimble Tech and Southwest High School this weekend. The students here at Southwest want their school spirit back and apparently want to wear their rebel flags and are willing to risk expulsion to display that school spirit. Mike Snyder, Texas News 5. And we'll be covering a Richland Rebels bonfire tonight. It'll be attended by Southwest students trying to learn how to save their rebel theme. Meantime, the racial tension remains. Tension, perhaps apprehension, is the word. Rebels, and they are ready to make it their cause. For five in Fort Worth, four students at Southwest High School have sparked a new skirmish over whether the Confederate flag is a symbol of racism. Tonight, News for Texas reporter Jack Brown tells us the answer to that question may depend on where you live. The Confederate flag means many things to many people. And at Southwest High School, if you wear one on your t-shirt, it means you change shirts or go home. Four students chose to leave yesterday, and they said the shirts were not intended to be racist. If it was, a, if it was racial, I mean, there'd be a lot bigger deal about it, but it's, it's promoting school spirit. Not, it has nothing to do with racial. I'm not prejudiced at all. The school's principal, Quince Fulton, declined to be interviewed on camera, but he said he was merely following policy set by the Fort Worth School Board. That policy took effect several years ago as a result of an NAACP lawsuit. The school board ruled Southwest could continue to be the rebels, but no more Confederate flag and no more Dixie. There is no such policy against the flag in North Richland Hills, where the banner and T-shirt shirts are sold in the halls of Richland High School. There was not any hint of discrimination and there was no idea of that. So our, it's just, it's a spirit group at Richland High School. It's just our spirit symbol. Well, I like it. it. It represents pride for our school and stuff and everybody seems to enjoy it that I know. Richland High has less than 2% black students. Southwest has about 10% and several black students at Southwest told us they don't want the flag back. But a lot more students, black and white, said they didn't care one way or the other. Jack Brown, News 4, Texas. The four students who wore the Confederate t-shirts to Southwest High say they will ask the Fort Worth School Board to reconsider its policy. Tonight's students at Southwest High School in Fort Worth want to see an old but controversial symbol return to their school. It's the rebel flag. No longer allowed at their school, but flying high at another. When the drums banged at Richland High tonight, students had rebels on their mind. A raging bonfire intensified pride for their school and for their flag. For these students getting psyched for tomorrow's game against Louisville, the two go hand in hand. Richland and the spirit of Dixie. These students don't think their flag stands for racism, but they're well aware of what it once stood for. I know it used to represent a long time ago. I don't like that part about it. But it's a part that was in the past and it's the future. Yeah! 
Just 12 miles away, students at Fort Worth Southwest High are rebels too, but that school prohibits any symbol of the old Confederacy. Yesterday, six kids were expelled for wearing rebel shirts. We really want to get the flag back and have the whole rebel concept or rid of the whole thing. So today, some of them went over to Richland to ask the principal if the Southwest rebels can learn anything from the Richland rebels. His advice, work within the system. You never can make a change if you don't try, so I encourage them to try, but if it doesn't work, well, they just, they won't work. Four years ago, the NAACP challenged both schools to drop the rebel symbols. Richland kept them after parents rallied in support. Good evening on this Friday, and thank you very much for joining us. Controversy over revival of the rebel flag stopped short of violence at Southwest High School in Fort Worth today. It took Fort Worth police officers to restore order this morning after a pep rally broke into a pushing and swearing match between black and white students. Texas News 5's chief correspondent Mike Snyder reports this evening the brawl broke out after more students were kicked out this morning for displaying the Confederate flag. The Fort Worth School Board forbid the use of the Confederate flag at Southwest High School back in 1986 after the NAACP complained that the symbol was racist. Why are you fighting so hard for this? Why should they take it away? We got our rights too. Well, they've already taken it away. Well, we we're going to bring it back. back. And so do some of the African-American students. I think they should bring it back. I mean, we had it before, you know. It doesn't cause any controversy or anything. It doesn't mean slavery and oppression to you? Mm -mm, it's a symbol of school spirit. A number of Southwest High students showed up early this morning with the forbidden Confederate flag on their shirts, in their cars, and on their hearts. Well, the way I look at it, they've taken our spirit stick. And now they're taking our flag. By the time they get through, the school won't have any spirit, so I think it's worth fighting for. 30 minutes before this morning's football pep rally, six more students joined the six tossed out on Wednesday for wearing the forbidden images. We were told to leave. But just because you, you of our kinda, shirts. You kind of knew that was going to happen when you wore those oh, yeah. today, didn't you? Yep, but I had my the, parents 100% behind Mark, me. Mark, come here. Halfway through the pep rally, rebel boosters rolled down a movie screen in the school's auditorium, displaying a huge Confederate flag. A large number of black students got up and walked out in protest. I'm sorry that we get to this point that we have to be talked to and threatened and all the other kinds of things just because that you don't necessarily agree with the policies of the Fort Worth school system. The anger pushed and shoved through the halls and then continued on the front lawn. You ain't supposed to be wearing that t-shirt school if he told you hey. not to. Several Fort Worth police squad cars were called to the school to restore order. The school administration hopes a long weekend will cool tempers. But students pushing revival of the flag promise the controversy won't end that easy. Mike Snyder, Texas News 5. Obviously, some very hard feelings among students. Apparently so. In Fort Worth High School, a pep rally at Southwest High turned ugly with fists and profanity flying. And as News for Texas reporter Jack Brown tells us, it began with the displaying of the rebel flag. Trouble began brewing Tuesday when four students were sent home for wearing Confederate T-shirts. And this morning, at an auditorium pep rally, a Confederate flag was displayed on a movie screen. After the flag appeared, many students began leaving the auditorium. There was kicking and shoving and pushing, and that spilled out into the hallways and onto the school grounds, where several fights were reported. It, it had a big fight right there, on, right there, in yeah, that right. space right there. Dozens of students called their parents and asked to be picked up at school. Uh, she was hurt during a rally. <laughs> she, uh... They started to run at me and I got, I got caught in the middle and I started, I got upset and I couldn't breathe and so I got pushed out of the way and they started kicking people down and kicking them in the chest and kicking them in their heads and stuff. Sounds to me like things got out of control. Something's amiss. The Southwest mascot is the rebel, but the Fort Worth School Board ruled four years ago there would be no more Confederate flags at any school and banned the song Dixie. School district officials say violators face stiff punishment. It may involve uh, removal from school, may involve removal from extracurricular activities, uh, suspensions and that sort of thing. It's time for all of the young people to come to the grips and get a good education instead of so much junk going on. Authorities are taking no chances. Extra security has been ordered for tonight's football game between Southwest and Trimble Tech at Clark Field. Jack Brown, News 4, Texas.
And again, authorities say anyone wearing or displaying Confederate symbols at tonight's game will be asked to leave.